So today we're going to be solving equations specifically, fractional equations. So I have fractions right there. So my first step that I'm going to solve to solve an equation is that I'm going to factor my denominators minus 5n minus 15 divided by 3 and so this is n plus 4 right why I'm gonna do that because I need to find my common denominator right so my common denominator in this fraction is going to be 3n times n plus 4 We're going to factor, right? And we're going to find my greatest common factor and then multiply times whatever is common and whatever is not, right? So 3n plus times the n plus 4. So in this case, on that first fraction, let me write it here again. 3n times n plus 4 times 3n times n plus 4. As you can see, I'm going to multiply every fraction, everything on that equation times that common denominator. So now I can cancel the n, I can cancel the n plus 4 here, I can cancel the 3n, and here I can cancel everything. So that means that I have n plus 6 times 3 equals 1 times n plus 4 minus 5n minus 15. As you can see, we're, we're careful here, I place that under parentheses because that negative is going to change everything. So the, I have 3n plus 18 equals n plus 4 minus 5n plus 15. Right. Okay, so now I'm going to solve this equation, right? So I'm going to simplify on the right side, so negative 4n plus 19. Then I'm going to add 4n on both sides. So 7n plus 18 equals 19. And now I'm going to subtract the 18. So 7n equals 1. So an n equals 1 over 7. Okay, so number 2 again, I'm going to find my uh, list common multiple. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to factor everything. So I have 2 over k minus 4 over k times k minus 3 equals 1 over k times k minus 3. Okay, so that means that my least common multiple is going to be k times k minus 3. Again, so I'm going to multiply everything times k, k minus 3, k times k is minus 3. Okay. So I'm going to cancel the k, I'm going to cancel the k minus 3, and I'm going to cancel everything here. So I have 2 times k minus 3 minus 4 equals 1. 2k minus 6 minus 4 equals 1. 2k minus 10 equals 1 plus 10. 2k equals 11. And then I'm going to divide by 2. So k equals 11 half. Okay, so exercise 3. Again, I'm going to find my common denominator. So 5 divided by n plus 4 plus 1, and factor, so this n plus 4, n plus 3, equals a times n plus 4. That means that my common denominator is n plus 4, times n plus 3, n plus 4 times n plus 3, and n plus 4 times n plus 3. So, again, I cancel the n plus 4, cancel both of them, and I cancel the n plus 4. So it means I have 5 times n plus 3 plus 1 equals 8 times n plus 3. So 5n plus 15 plus 1 equals 8n plus 24. 5n plus 16 equals 8n plus 24 minus 16 equals 8n plus 8. Minus 8n, this is 3n equals 8, and then I'm just going to divide by 3. And n equals negative 8 over 3. And that's it.